Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be working my way through the SS level trials of this week's Timeless Trials, and we'll begin with the SS Trial 1. Time Law is the enemy restores 20% hit points up to each round, has no real effect because you should be wiping out the enemies every single turn. Hmm. There are a lot of ranged units, however, amongst the enemies. So... Well, I'm gonna throw in Leaden, Liana. The big problem is this Lava Titan, but if I can disable its guard, then Leon will be able to just crush everything. I don't know, whatever. So let's toss in Sophia, wherever she is. And then the last character... Tiaris? I don't know. Who did I used to use? Wait a second. Ledin? Liana? Maybe it was Tiaris. I can't even remember. Whatever, let's just do Tiaris. Alright, let's begin. So, I don't really care if I get hit by... I should have swapped positions. Liana's position and Leon's position. Oh, That's annoying. Oh well. So let's just move Liana up. And have Leon charge forward and Kieris to miracle up. That's pretty much it. Fortunately, they had a very weird action order. The Lancer moved really early. And as expected, I get hit by the Forget skill. Hey. So we can be on start with his chivalry. An assault. Or just a regular attack will do. Because I think I should save my assault for taking out this. Um, Might as well attack Blessing, Leon. Not that he really needs it, but whatever. And then I can just rewind that one up. So they're ready to attack. Once again, next turn. So now I get hit by DK. So both Tiaris and Sophia have Goddess left hands. Right? And this is where it becomes useful. Because I can be at disable the Lava Titan guard this way. And then I'm going to have Sophia heal up Leon to remove 
the DK debuff so that he can receive buffs. So that when he chivalries, he'll actually do something. So that's the first target. Act again, Leon. And get rid of the second one. I mean, honestly speaking, this is why I started using Omega, because Omega can ignore guard, it just makes it easier. These timeless trials. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, disabling guard and so on. So <laughs> and in this second trial, nobody can guard. Okay. I think using the same party will be fine, um, especially considering the number of ranged enemies there are. So I could choose to replace Tierras though with another attacker. I could make things a bit faster, but this is okay too. Let's just begin. Hey. Yes. So I want Levin to tank hits, and that's why he's going to the vanguard up there. And then this cuttlefish is probably going to move. Let's say three, then maybe up. We'll see what it does. You know what? I'm actually not sure. So I'm just going to set up in a way where Ledin can take some hits initially. That should be enough for the first turn. So Cuttlefish, yeah. Tidal Surge is up in Tentacles. Sophia, which doesn't move to get to position. And then Levin gets an opportunity to kill off this Vampire Bat. this point, I can really use Leaden to tank all these hits too. So what I'm going to do is so Sophia move back and heal herself. I'm going to just have Leaden function buff like so. And I'm going to move Leon back, move Liana back, and Tierras can just um, attack Blessing Leon. So that way only Leaden is in range. Meaning, even without guard, he's going to be the one taking all these hits. Surprisingly, he could not kill off that cuttlefish. But then again, my Ledin does have very reduced stats recently. Um, he doesn't have an Oath of Justice anymore. He's using a uh, Seal Guardian, so he's missing 8% magic defense and 3% defense, which is reducing the amount of damage he can do in general. It's okay. Now that a whole bunch of the enemies have been killed, Leon can get rid of the rest very easily. So I'm simply going to have Leon shivalry up and assault the cuttlefish. And retreat. And Liana can act again, Leon, to kill off the healers. You might as well have Levin melee attack because there's nothing better for him to do. And I'm going to use Rewind on Sophia 
so that Leon can kill off two more targets next turn. Oops. Number one. And then number two. SS Trout 3, Infantry Attack and Defense are increased by 20%. The enemy has no infantry except for the Cyclops, and the Cyclops will fall to Leon anyway, so it's not a big deal, that time law. Um, there are more ranged enemies here. So, but, you know, if I switch to Landius, it would be a faster clear. You know, he can at least counterattack against these ranged enemies, I think. But using this party is fine too. I don't think it truly matters at the end. Let's just begin. Hey. I do feel like maybe I should replace TRS with, let's say, Luna though. Have two DPSs to make these clears a bit faster. I don't know. So let's just have a faction buff up here. I'm just gonna have this Hydra move up closer to me. The other thing I haven't done recently but could be viable is to bring, let's say, a summon on Liana to kind of draw enemies out of position and so on. Remember, the enemies like to chase after the closest target, so if you have to summon in the right spot, they could draw away a lot of these enemies too. Just thought I would mention that. So, in order to make sure I can kill off this Leviathan that has 875 defense, I'm going to start with Attack Blessing on my Leon. So that he can Chivalry up here. Assault. It's only 1.2 times damage, that's why I wanted to do that. And I'm just going to have Leon in this turn right here. Darn. Only target I can attack is the Cavalry General, unless I rewind first. Yes. So I think I'm going to have to do that. So let's have the Medin the Vanguard up. I'm going to act again Leon. And also rewind up everyone here. That way Leon can reactivate his chivalry to attack. The Necromancer. And back off into Veteran's Garbage. So I'm gonna get hit by Decay. Let um, Leon's immune to it due to Chivalry being active. Ledin already has all the buffs he needed. Oh, and Ledin did not have Sage's hand, so I made a mistake there. Not a big deal. It just means this guy, the Aquatic General, didn't get killed yet. Uh, so I'm gonna have Leon kill off the Dark of the General now. And retreat back like so. Ledin is currently slowed. 
Yes. So I'm gonna have to heal him up first before anything else. So you can move out of the way. That only moves one of the two debuffs on him. So Tierra is actually going to have to heal again to remove the other one. So then let in. Okay, just Divine Guard here. Vienna can act again Leon. And then Leon can assault the Bank of General. And get out of the way once more. Two enemies left to take down. Just avoiding the Cyclops. That's all this really involves at this point. I'm just mopping up at this point. Merfolk will kill itself on Ledin, and then Leon will kill off the Cyclops. Chivalry, Assault, and Gun. SS Trial 4, while being suppressed, attack plus 30%, defense plus 30%. So, I'm going to want Leon to crush a few enemies, aren't I? The question is, how should I set up? Let's see, if I have Leon here, let's, I'm going to give Ledin Burning Sun in this situation. Right? He's gonna crush this Undead Knight. And then Leon can charge forward, kill off this guy, get act again, and then charge forth to kill off another character. I'm going to bring Luna simply because I want another striker. Right? I mentioned already that having two attackers would help a lot, so I might as well do that. And then this looks pretty much like what I need to do. So let's begin. Hey. So yes. Burning Sun takes out the Undead Knight to start. Hey. Leon is going to chivalry up. So, start by crushing a catapult. Gonna run north. Hey. Going to act again. And then have Leon. Smash the Mist Dancer. And then move back. Sophia can just charge forward and regenerate Ledin. That should, as a healer, should be the target of priority of this Griffin. And then. Going to have Luna. Wind spiral. 
Raging Thunder, the catapult. And then move away. Luna dies. I expect that. You can afford to lose one character, so I don't mind. And this is where I have let in, I guess. Did I die that? Not that he needs to. And I'm going to have Sophia regenerate F1. Or rewind that one. So Leon can work with his last two. Kill number one. Act again. SS Ultimate Trial, Time Law is damage is decreased by 20% for each block move before attacking, up to 100% damage reduction. Hmm. Oh, this. Lester friendly, I believe. If I recall properly. He's all the way at at the very end. That's okay. Um, going to need him in a position where he can chain hook these enemies to me. So this should be fine. And then I'm going to have Leon and Lana, I suppose. Just the usual two. Right? Chivalry for attacking. Lana should be able to range attack very easily without having to shift much. So then Liana can have the act again. Sophia can have the rewind and rather than regenerate, we'll bring strength in and that should be enough. The only thing I want to make sure is that Leon doesn't have to actually move at all when he chivalries and strikes. So the final change is because I won't, don't move, I want to bring smash rather than doesn't move. Er, Smash or Thousand Hooves rather than Assault. And that should be pretty much it. Oh. Let's change it to single target strike skills on Lana. And I'll do three of them. Probably overkill, but you know. Yes, Wakata. So I'm actually going to wait a turn. Is there's no need to rush this hmm? right by waiting a turn i can also maneuver my characters into appropriate positions sorry let me just go back there because i want lena to be able to attack without moving and lester is going to move up here to chain hook. so leaden will be here which means lena should be placed right there right leon can just move up I'm going to turn on Danger Zone and have Sophia strengthen up and Lena. And Liana can move up. And Lester can just get ready to chain hook. So yeah, the enemies don't move. As expected. So... Oh. Retreat. Lena. Reaper. Might as well act again her. To kill. And Chris might have actually been the target of priority, in truth. Because she can buff up other characters with yeah, okay. mobility and whatnot. But yeah, whatever. Hi. 
because my Lester activated clocks, I don't need to rewind. Otherwise, I normally would rewind at this point. Yeah, I really should have gone after Chris first. In hindsight, but she didn't give anyone plus mobility, so I'm good to go. So what am I going to do here is... Guess I might as well have Mana and range attack at 3 range to wipe out the Zealots. And then Leon can shivery up, mix to Chris, smash his left. And then I'm just going to strengthen up Lena now. Or Probably should have done that before <laughs> Lena attacked in truth, gospel up, and uh, rewind. So then... Way, as usual, have Lena attack at 3 range, then Leon to sh finish. Oh wow, Lena almost died there. Interesting. So I probably should have had Leon attack first. But honestly, even if Lena died, it would not have been an issue. So now I just wait for Lester's chain hook to refresh. I was setting up to go after the arm. Yes, three turns. Got some time. Hi. Hi. Hmm. Yes. Wakata. Next turn. So. I'm going to start buffing up my Lena. So I definitely made some careless mistakes here. Um, especially with Lena attacking Heim when Heim was at full hit points. That was probably the big one. Other than that, this fight honestly is pretty straightforward. So, I don't think it really requires me to redo the battle. do though is activate Lena here to move her into a slightly better position for next turn. Like this. Because rewind is active, allowing her to chain up once again. Anything at all there, really. That's fine. Because 
Leon. Chivalry up. And smash. Shiri back for the first attack. And turn here, I think. So that I can get act again to attack once more. Spirit boots! My first pair of mobility enhancing boots at long, long last. Oh my. Yes! That is very, very good news. I've been hoping to get these for quite some time now. Um, allows you to move two blocks after attacking a target. So it is better than nothing. In, if I'm being completely 100% honest, I think I would have preferred the other pair of boots, uh, which is Divine Boots with the increased defense and mobility plus one so that but i can certainly work with spirit boots not going to complain about getting a pair of these ones that's for sure um as for who i build them for that is the question though because i have the choice between let's say equipping them on juggler or equipping them on let's say ultimate muller or someone similar to that even elwyn to do Ancient Beckoning. Mind you, I already get S rank in Slepnir, so I don't truly need these things. We'll see. The whole point is I have options on who I should on who should get this pair of boots. Um, but once again, it is good news that I got them. It will certainly help me quite a bit. And I'll figure that out soon. That's it for this first video. Thanks for watching everyone. Nitro out.